being a beneficial environmental element. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 532. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. Uh, this is our June 4th, 2023 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is being a beneficial environmental element. And this topic is pretty important because if you're paying attention right now, and if you're watching this video, you're probably somebody who already understands that humanity as a whole, we are definitely not being a beneficial environmental element. We're being pretty darn destructive. And so it's time to turn this train around and do something different. And we have the ability to do this. We have the ability to do this. We have the ability to approach sustainability as a comprehensive system that touches every part of our lives and, and recognizing that all aspects of sustainability are not only interrelated but interdependent. And the more we address it as a comprehensive model, the more successful we will be. And in so doing, we can become a beneficial environmental element. We can recognize that we are the keystone species and the only species on this planet capable of making the decision to steward the earth for the benefit of all people and all life and in so doing benefit ourselves, our friends, our family and generations to come and create paradise on earth. We can create a world that works for everybody. Right now we already produce enough food to feed everybody and yet hunger and food insecurity is a global problem. In the United States, we have enough houses for every single person, and there are you know hundreds of thousands of houses sitting empty while homelessness is a problem. And we have the ability to build homes that last for hundreds of years, and yet we're not. You know, and so why is that? Why are we not doing that? Well, from our perspective, we feel the reason that we're not doing that is because it hasn't been easy enough, it hasn't been made affordable enough, and it hasn't been demonstrated as attractive enough for the idea to spread, you know, for people to really get on board and for the, the paradigm to become one of sustainability. And so one community is tackling that problem specifically. So our idea of being a beneficial environmental element is by looking at the complete human experience, the physical foundations of sustainability, the emotional foundations of sustainability, and approaching them from what we call is a highest good for all perspective. And so the physical foundation of sustainability, everybody's familiar with, they're food, energy, and housing. The emotional foundations of sustainability, which we think are equally as important, are what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, highest good approaches to education, economics, and stewardship, true earth stewardship, and stewarding all of this and managing all of this for the benefit of all people in life on this planet as a model for world change. And not just a model for world change, a model for creating a global sustainability within our lifetime by making it self-replicating. And the way that we're making it self-replicating is by open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions, and handy, easy-to-follow plans for all aspects of this so that it can be replicated at, together as a complete teacher demonstration hub designed to teach and demonstrate how to replicate it, a solution model design to create additional super solution creating models, as well as how to replicate all the individual components that make up the food component, that make up the energy component, that make up the housing component, that make up the fulfilled living component, that make up the education component, component that make up the resource-based economy, 
for-profit and non-profit economics component, as well as the stewardship component, how to manage it all, we're open sourcing all of that as well. So we're not just about being a beneficial envir environmental element, we're about being the beneficial environmental element capable of changing this world into one that is sustainable and benefits all of us, bringing together people with shared values and interests to create a uniquely meaningful life experience that we believe that once people experience it, people will want that so strongly for themselves that they'll ask the question, how do I do this? How can I, I want this. I want to create this for me. I want to create this for my family. How do I do that? And we're answering that. We're saying these will be the step-by-step -step instructions. This is exactly how much it will cost for you to do this. This is exactly, and it's not for us to financially benefit from it. It's all open source and free shared. So we're saying this is exactly how much it costs us to do this and how we've cut those costs down so that you can do it. Here's the cheapest place we found to buy all the materials. Here's the best materials that we found, the most sustainable materials that we found in the world so that you can have the healthiest things for you and your family. You know, we're saying here's exactly how much time it will take to replicate this. So people can bring together their friends, their family, others that share their values and interests and create this for themselves or so that people can say, no, I just want, I just want to grow this food that's not sprayed with poison or I just want to grow this, you know, build this artistic and beautiful home that's not made with toxic materials and is going to last for hundreds of years, last a lot longer than a traditional home and be more artistic and beautiful. You know, or maybe I just want to run this community-based education program because I'd like a better education for my children. Maybe I'm interested in a resource-based economy because I like the idea of access to all the things that I want and I don't necessarily need to own those. And I recognize that by sharing and cooperating and pooling our resources, we could have better stuff, more access to stuff, and maintain it a lot easier than if every single one of us owns a vacuum cleaner, for instance. You know, each of us can own a crummy vacuum cleaner or we could pool our money and buy the best vacuum cleaner available and then anytime we want to use it, we have access to it. If it breaks, we pull our resources and replace it. But because it's the best, it's going to last longer. And because it's one supported by 50, it's easy to maintain it and support and to replace it if needed. Now apply that to everything. So these are the models that we're putting together and, and these are the foundations that we see as being a beneficial environmental element. Because just taking that vacuum cleaner example, imagine how many less resources it takes for that. Now apply that to all aspects of life. You know, so this is our idea for coming together and creating a world that works for everybody and creating the step-by-step -step plans for achieving that. And we're an all-volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization. Um, we've had over 700 volunteers contribute to creating this. We're creating the open source software for managing it all and managing cooperation and collaboration with other organizations around the world, using our open source plans and constructing what it is that we're developing. Everything that you see happening in the background of the video here and so much more is open source and free shared on our website. We've created hundreds of pages of our website. We've been tracking this, our, our progress now weekly with updates like this for 10, over 10 years. And you can access all this on our website. If you like, if you love what we're talking about, you like a, would like a weekly dose of positivity uh, in your inbox, you can go to our website and subscribe to our newsletter. You'll get this video and a weekly progress update. And um, we can do this. We can do this. We can create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And so our all-volunteer team is dedicated to that. And we see that humanity being a beneficial environmental element is the path to global sustainability and a uniquely meaningful life experience that will benefit us as individuals and benefit the world and can benefit all people and all life on this planet and we can achieve this within our lifetime. And so this is how one community is creating world change. This is how we're leading the movement as the number one GSS organization, global sustainability systems organization in the world. And this is, this is us creating global sustainability for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. So with that said, if you'd like to support us in the easiest way possible, like and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. And if you'd like to help out in the easiest way possible, other than liking, subscribing, watch the end of this video, see a couple more minutes, and support our algorithm. 
And uh, if you'd like to see exactly what it is that our all-volunteer team has accomplished in the last week, visit our weekly progress update blog. And of course, if you visit our website and you want to see all the open source tools and plans and resources, everything that we've created, visit our website, explore what it is that we're doing there. Um, we have put an immense amount of time and energy into creating this, and we're getting closer and closer to starting construction and demonstrating this and unrolling the step-by-step -step plans that we've put so much time and care and detail into. What we're creating has phenomenal growth potential, the ability to become self-replicating and benefit everyone. We can't think of anything better to invest our time and energy in. We want to live this way. We want to share living this way. We want everybody who wants to live this way to be able to. And so this is what One Community is doing. So this is it. This is us being a beneficial environmental element. Thanks for watching to the end. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you. The One Community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.